controversial contract. Ten Genesee County communities have signed on to an exclusive agreement with an emergency medical service provider. Under that agreement, only MedStar would be able to provide EMS services in these areas. TV5's James Felton shows us which communities have signed on and how their services could be impacted. We do have a sizable senior population in Mundy Township, and I know that weighed heavily on a number of our board members. That's why Mundy Township Manager Chad Young tells us Mundy Township has entered into a exclusivity agreement with MedStar Ambulance. Mundy Township is just one of numerous Genesee County locations that have exclusivity agreements with MedStar set to begin in 60 days. MedStar, the way that the agreement is structured is uh, guaranteeing to us that they'll respond within that nine nine minute time frame uh, 90 percent of the time or greater. MedStar CEO Colby Miller tells me the ambulance service will use a dynamic deployment model, a method that will promote safety system design and EMS system effectiveness. When you staff on a demand model you place your vehicles where the highest probability of a call is going to be for a safe response and during the peak time, you staff for peak volume. And then during the lower periods of volume request, you staff to cover the geography so that you can continue those safe responses. Miller knows there are some people in Genesee County who have raised concerns over potential lawsuits, liability issues, or longer response time in the case that an ambulance from another company might be closer to the 911 call. I think that when you design vehicles so that you're preventing 35 and 40 and 50 minute response times that some of the periphery in the county is seeing and managing all of the response times, you ultimately improve the response time for the system rather than just focusing on a 45 second or 50 second difference between one or two of the individual calls and using that as some sort of scare tactic. Getting back to Young, he says Mundy Township can opt out of the agreement anytime with 30 days notice, but he hopes that's not necessary. We're going to try. We're going to take a shot at and see if it does provide a discernible improvement uh, to that quality of service to our residents and community. James Felton, WNEM TV5. The agreements will go into effect as soon as the county updates its software. So when someone calls, the 911 operator knows which EMS provider to call.